Welcome to WTI's presentation of ClickView. Today we're going to cover importing Excel documents into ClickView and then using those fields to create our visualizations. So as you can see right here, I am currently using a Excel document. I have some data that I'm going to go ahead and import that I want to visualize through ClickTech. So what I've saved this document to my desktop, but you can save it to a shared location anywhere that your ClickTech server or your personal edition can see. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to import that data to recreate this dashboard right here. So it's very simple. We're going to go ahead and go to File, Edit Script. And as you can see, this is going to be what our final information is going to look at. I'm going to go ahead and delete that and reload this data. On the bottom, we have a number of different options from ODBC drivers to ClickView files and web files. In my instance, I'm going to import a table file. I'm going to navigate to the XLS document. I can also use XLS here as well, or CSV. Go ahead and click open. And so as you can see, I have a number of different offers here, right? I can do uh, XML, QVD, or QVX, which is data generated by ClickView. I can do Excel XLS or Excel XLX, or delimit it as well. I can also determine what tables and what sheets I'm going to create, what the headers are, if there are any headers, and whether I should use labels for embedded labels, which it is automatically detecting that my first row is headers. Or I can also do explicit, or if I had no headers, I can choose none here as well, and then rename those objects at a later point. I can also simply remove and collapse the different amounts that I want. I'm going to go ahead and increase these all because we want to import all of them. Okay, next. Now, if you have HTML data or if you have some badly formatted data, then ClipView will help you transform that data uh, into something a little bit more usable and a little bit more user-friendly. Uh, our data is fine as it turns out, so we're going to go ahead and click Next. Now, here the, we can see this is what the data is going to be imported into uh, click view. So I can do embedded labels, either with explicit or none. I can add a where clause here as well, either with a simple or I can do an advanced where clause, right? So I can change what fields, right? So I can choose only amounts that are greater than a million. I'm only interested in that or, uh, again, any where clause that you can create there. Uh, we can also, if, you, if the table had a hierarchy, you can also tell it what is the order that should be seen there as a hierarchy. I'm going to cancel out. And if your data is in a cross-table format, then what you can also do is you can also qualify that data here as well. We don't have any of that. So we're going to go ahead and do a simple import and finish. So you can see that um, the script is just doing a simple load from this table, essentially creating a database on the back end of ClickView as a source. And it is passed in a certain parameters and it gives us the location. So for example, if you wanted to change this location after you changed it, you could simply edit it to this here. Or if you were distributing this, your end users can edit your script so that it's pointing to their local version of their item. So we're going to go ahead and hit Save. Go ahead and close out of this. We're going to go ahead and reload the data. Okay. So we can look at our table viewer, but obviously we only have one table here with no join. And so now what we're going to be able to do is we're going to create a new sheet here. And what we can do is that we can simply pull in the list box of any of our items here. So for example, I want to create a customer name box. And then I want to create a table box with the amount and our customer name. I'm going to go ahead and promote our customer name so it's the first thing in the field. Go ahead and go to number. We're going to change this to money. Click apply. Click OK. And so now we see our data broken down by a number of different things. By our customer name and then also because we imported rows we, it's also broken down, these are individual months. So if we want to come back in, and we go, want to go to uh, Properties, 
and we're going to go ahead and can show this here. And we can add an order month here, choose that, and promote that. Simply click Apply. And so now we can see for Alpha Cognac for the month of July, we sold a total of $181,000 worth of material. In this case, we're selling cars. So what you can also do with this data is you can also add a chart. So for example here, we're going to go ahead and add a chart. We're going to add a pie graph. You can add a Windows title, so we're going to say uh, ordered sales amount next. And we're going to put our dimensions. In this case, we're going to sort it by customer name next. And then our expression is simply a sum of amount. Click OK here. And we're going to do next finish, as you can see here as well. And then as we filter, you can see two different things. You can see the order month here as well, and then the total sales amount. By simply filtering on it, you very quickly turned your data from Excel into some very easily filtable visualizations that you can then distribute to your entire team. Thank you very much for attending this webinar.